Echopad 1.8.5 adds a few new features, so we're going to go over those real quick. The new gated feedback and delay ducking features are located in the delay tweak panel. And to access that, we're going to tap the effects menu button and then the delay tweak panel. And you can see up in the top left corner here, we have the button for gated right next to feedback and then ducking sensitivity as well. So we're going to take a look at gated feedback first. So what you're going to want to do is set your uh, repeat your feedback volume to however you want. And we'll hear how that sounds. Now you hear like normally um, with a delay, every single one of those notes that I played um, is fed into the delay signal and so it's therefore echoed. But you don't always want that. Sometimes you might want just the last note that you played to get um, echoed. So that's what gated uh, feedback is for. So we're going to turn gated feedback on and now I'm going to play just those same little bit of notes and you'll hear that instead of all of them getting washed together, it only repeats the last one. So I'll play a couple of extra little notes just to show that again. Now, uh, ducking, uh, the ducking feature is located in the bottom left corner here. Uh, you have ducking sensitivity, which controls the uh, amount of volume reduction or compression of the um, delay repeats and then ducking release time just sets how long that takes to kick back into full volume after input signal has fallen below threshold. So it's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, I'll just show you a quick example here just turning the ducking sensitivity all the way up actually. And you can hear that uh, actually yeah. Um, I'll just play the same bits of notes and you'll hear that the um, echoes are compressed completely. You can't hear them at all until the signal um, falls below threshold. Alright, so there's just one more extra new little feature um, in Echopad 1.8.5 and that is Bluetooth MIDI and it's available on iOS 8 only. It's pretty simple. You just uh, tap the Bluetooth MIDI button, and then you'll see this uh, Advertise MIDI service toggle. So you're going to enable that. And what that does is let your device show up as a um, Bluetooth MIDI destination. So you can then automate Echopad's parameters from Ableton Live or Logic or another app uh, via Bluetooth. Uh, this is a iOS 8 and OS 10 Yosemite only. Uh, but it is actually available, um, it's, it's really straightforward to set up, and there's a uh, video that I have that will be shown in the help menu here um, under videos. It'll be in there, and that'll explain how to do that with Ableton Live just in a little bit more in depth. All right, take it easy.